In materials science, creep is the tendency of a solid material to move slowly or deform permanently under the influence of mechanical stresses. It can occur as a result of long-term exposure to high levels of stress that are still below the yield strength of the material. Creep is more severe in materials that is subjected to heat for long periods, and generally increases as they near the melting point. The rate of deformation is a function of the material properties, exposure time, exposure temperature and the applied structural load. Depending on the magnitude of the applied stress and its duration, the deformation may become so large that a component can no longer perform its function, for example creep of a turbine blade will cause the blade to contact the casing, resulting in the failure of the blade. Creep is usually of concern to engineers and metallurgists when evaluating components that operate under high stresses or high temperatures. Creep is a deformation mechanism that may or may not constitute a failure mode. For example, moderate creep in concrete is sometimes welcomed because it relieves tensile stresses that might otherwise lead to cracking. Unlike brittle fracture, creep deformation does not occur suddenly upon the application of stress. Instead, strain accumulates as a result of long-term stress. Therefore, creep is a time-dependent deformation temperature dependence. The temperature range in which creep deformation may occur differs in various materials. For example, tungsten requires a temperature in the thousands of degrees before creep deformation can occur, while ice will creep at temperatures near zero degrees Celsius. As a general guideline, the effects of creep deformation generally become noticeable at approximately 35% of the melting point for metals, and at 45% of melting point for ceramics. Virtually any material will creep upon approaching its melting temperature. Since the creep minimum temperature is related to the melting point, creep can be seen at relatively low temperatures for some materials. Plastics and low melting temperature metals, including many solders, can begin to creep at room temperature, as can be seen markedly in old lead hot water pipes. Glacier flow is an example of creep processes in ice. Stages of creep. In the initial stage, or primary creep, the strain rate is relatively high, but slows with increasing time. This is due to work hardening. The strain rate eventually reaches a minimum and becomes near constant. This is due to the balance between work hardening and annealing. This stage is known as secondary or steady state creep. This stage is the most understood. The characterized creep strain rate typically refers to the rate in this secondary stage. Stress dependence of this rate depends on the creep mechanism. In tertiary creep, the strain rate exponentially increases with stress because of necking phenomena. Fracture always occurs at the tertiary stage. Creep is a very important aspect of material science. Mechanisms of creep the mechanism of creep depends on temperature and stress. Various mechanisms are bulk diffusion, climb. Here the strain is actually accomplished by climb. Climb assisted glide. Here the climb is an enabling mechanism, allowing dislocations to get around obstacles. Grain boundary diffusion, thermally activated glide, e.g., via cross slip. Applications. Though mostly due to the reduced yield strength at high temperatures, the collapse of the World Trade Center was due in part to creep from increased temperature operation. The creep rate of hot pressure loaded components in a nuclear reactor at power can be a significant design constraint, since the creep rate is enhanced by the flux of energetic particles. Creep was blamed for the Big Dig Tunnel ceiling collapse in Boston. 
Boston, Massachusetts that occurred in July 2006. The design of tungsten light bulb filaments attempts to reduce creep deformation. Sagging of the filament coil between its supports increases with time due to the weight of the filament itself. If too much deformation occurs, the adjacent turns of the coil touch one another, causing an electrical short and local overheating, which quickly leads to failure of the filament. The coil geometry and supports are therefore designed to limit the stresses caused by the weight of the filament, and a special tungsten alloy with small amounts of oxygen trapped in the crystallite grain boundaries is used to slow the rate of cobalt creep. Creep can cause gradual cut through of wire insulation, especially when stress is concentrated by pressing insulated wire against a sharp edge or corner. Special creep resistant insulations such as Kinner are used in wiry wrap applications to resist cut through due to the sharp corners of wire wrap terminals. Teflon insulation is resistant to elevated temperatures and has other desirable properties, but is notorious vulnerable to cold flow cut through failures caused by creep. In steam turbine power plants, pipes carry steam at high temperatures and pressures. In jet engines, temperatures can reach up to 1,400 degrees Celsius and initiate creep deformation in even advanced design-coated turbine blades. Hence, it is crucial for correct functionality to understand the creep deformation behavior of materials. Creep deformation is important not only in systems where high temperatures are endured such as nuclear power plants, jet engines and heat exchanges, but also in the design of many everyday objects. For example, metal paper clips are stronger than plastic ones because plastics creep at room temperature. Aging glass windows are often erroneously used as an example of this phenomenon. Measurable creep would only occur at temperatures above the glass transition temperature around 500 degrees Celsius. While glass does exhibit creep under the right conditions, apparent sagging in old windows may instead be a consequence of obsolete manufacturing processes, such as that used to create crown glass, which resulted in inconsistent thickness. Fractal geometry, using a deterministic cantor structure is used to model the surface topography, where recent advancements in thermoviscoelastic creep contact of rough surfaces are introduced. Various viscoelastic idealizations are used to model the surface materials, for example, Maxwell, Kelvin Voigt, Standard Linear Solid and Jeffrey Media. Mnemonic 75 has been certified by the European Union as a standard creep reference material, preventing creep. There are four general ways to prevent creep in metal. One way is to use higher melting temperature metal. Second way is to use materials with greater grain size. Third way is use alloying. Fourth way use intelligent design to reduce the posable factors of creep.